This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Recently, I got this water pressure sensor from Dave Robot, which I'm going to use with Arduino Nano. You can also use this sensor for measuring gauge pressure. In this tutorial, I will only use this sensor for water detection and for measuring the water pressure and water level. Using this water pressure sensor, you can build yourself a smart water control system using Arduino, OLED display module, and some LEDs. It has happened to me and my family members many times that when we start the water pump, we often forget because we are busy with other work. And we don't remember that we have turned the water pump on due to which a lot of water is wasted and obviously it makes a lot of difference on the electricity bill as well. So to avoid this type of situation, I have resorted to this water pressure sensor by using which I can measure the water pressure inside the pipe. When the water level in the tank changes, then obviously the water pressure inside the pipe will also change. So if I use Arduino to measure this water pressure, I can easily make a control system for myself which will alert me when the water tank is empty or when the water tank is full. To explain this idea, I have done this very basic setup. You can see the water tape and I have also attached the water pressure sensor here. This water storage drum is representing the water tank. As I'm using this water pressure sensor for the first time, so this tutorial is going to be a kind of a getting started tutorial and I will try my level best to explain the most basic things including technical specifications, pinout, its interfacing with Arduino, its calibration, final circuit diagram and final Arduino code. Anyway, first let me share with you the final test results and afterward I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. I have already calibrated the water pressure sensor. You guys don't need to worry about it. I will explain in detail how you can calibrate this sensor. First I am going to explain the working and then I will start practical demonstration. On the OLED display module I will print the water pressure in KPA kilopascal and the lids will show water level. If the first LED is on, it means 20%. Similarly, the second LED means 40%, 60%, 80%, and the fifth LED represents 100% water level. So when all the LEDs are on, it means that the water tank is full. And when all the LEDs are off, it means that the water tank is empty. Now let us move ahead and start our practical demonstration. I have powered up the Arduino. Right now, all the LEDs are off as the water drum is completely empty. And on the OLED display module, you can see the pressure value in KPA, which is around zero. I'm going to add water and you will see an increase in the pressure value and the LEDs will turn on one by one as the water level increases.
I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the water pressure sensor from DF Robot. The most important specs are already printed on the sensor itself. It adopts DF Robot Gravity 3-pin interface. The yellow wire is the analog signal output wire. Red wire is the VCC and the black wire is the ground. As I said earlier, you can use this sensor for measuring the liquid or gas pressure without corrosion. It supports standard 5 volt voltage input and 0.5 to 4.5 volt linear voltage output. The recommended pressure measurement range is 0 to 1 megapascal, but you can use it to measure pressure up to 1.5 megapascal. As per the manufacturer, the normal operating pressure should be less than or equal to 2.0 megapascal. Pressure greater than or equal to 3 megapascal will damage the sensor. The measurement accuracy is 0.5% at around 55 degrees Celsius. The waterproofing level is IP68. The operating temperature is from minus 20 to 85 degrees Celsius. The sensor response time is less than 2 milliseconds. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. On the left side is the regulated 5 volts power supply based on the 7805 linear voltage regulator. I'm using this regulated 5 volts power supply to power up the Arduino and all the other electronics. The VDD and ground pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins, while the SCK or SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's A5 and A4 pins. Five LEDs are connected with the digital pins D2, D3, D4, D5 and D6. As these are 2.5 volt LEDs, that's why I'm using 330 ohm current limiting resistors. The signal wire, which is the yellow wire on the water pressure sensor is connected with the A0 pin the red wire is connected with 5 volts and the ground wire is connected with the Arduino's ground. I completed my wiring as per the circuit diagram. This water pressure sensor is not factory calibrated, so first you will have to calibrate this sensor. Before you start the calibration process, first of all make sure that there is no water or any other liquid inside the drum or barrel or water tank etc. Next, all you need to do is to download this code from my website electronicclinic.com and upload it to the Arduino. On the OLED display, you can see the pressure in KPA and the voltage. As per the table, when the voltage is 0.5 volt, the pressure should be 0.0 KPA. But as you can see on the display, the pressure value is wrong, which means we will have to adjust the offset value. Keep on changing this value until you get a value that is around 0.0, .0 kPa. Don't worry if you see these very small fluctuations. You can see the voltage is not perfectly 0.5 volts and also this sensor has 0.5% accuracy. In my case, I'm happy with this offset value so I will use this value in my final code. Now I'm going to fill the drum with water so that I can find the maximum value of water pressure is I will need this for the programming to define the range. So when a drum of this size is filled with water, you may get approximately this much pressure value. So I will use this value in the final code, which I'm going to explain. If you are planning on using the SSD 1306 OLED display module, then you will need Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306 libraries which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Here is the offset value which I found using the hit and trial technique. 
The water pressure sensor is connected with the analog pin A0. Five LEDs are connected with Arduino pins 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I also define two variables for storing the voltage and pressure values. Rest of the code is self-explanatory. We are reading the voltage on the analog pin A0. Next, we find the pressure and then display the corresponding values on the OLED display module. Next is for the minimum and maximum pressure values. I'm controlling these five LEDs. So that's all about the programming. Consider subscribing if you want to see long range wireless and IoT versions of the same project. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.